to a couple guys who are subscribed and then another guy who subscribed pulled up behind me. Start gen. down there. I love seeing you guys in person. Like he's like, yeah, I drove by and then I was like, yeah, I'll swing back by and shake his hand, you know, say what's up. I gotta say, I love seeing you guys in person, getting to meet you guys, you know what I mean? The guys who are watching the videos, enjoying the channel. It's a pleasure to meet you guys. What is up, Loud and Proud Crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. It was a very nice midday drive down to AutoZone. I had to grab some cleaning supplies for the trucks because Big Stinky, more than any of them, is just filthy because, of course, black paint, just dirt shows up so, so bad. I got some cleaning supplies for that truck, some microfiber towels and stuff like that so we can get it all shined up and looking good. It's crazy how much the local subscriber growth is just really growing and I'm actually running into more and more people. Every time I drive out, I'm meeting up, you know, and seeing somebody that stops me and says they watch the videos and stuff like that. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Let's get into the topic of today's video. Now, the topic of today's video, of course, is probably going to be in the title and the thumbnail. It's going to be going more in detail as to how we got Nasty Red to push the horsepower that it is, which, by the way, this truck is not dyno, so this is just a ballpark number. 600 horsepower, give or take, is what we are claiming Nasty Red is pushing. Do we know that for sure? No, it hasn't been dynoed, but when we went to diesel auto power and we went to pusher, we basically talked to them and we said, okay, so we are looking to make 600 horsepower, and then they basically gave us the mods that they thought were going to be fitting to meet that objective. So it might not be exactly 600, just ballpark, give or take. It could be 580, it could be 550, you know, whatever. It's just our ballpark is 600 is what we're thinking. All that aside, let's go into the details as to what's in this truck because there's a lot of people who are newer subscribers. And when I look back, if you actually go look back through the videos in the past couple weeks, pretty much any video that had nasty red on the front page has substantially more views than any other video. So there's a, you know, dad's first time driving the compound turbo 12 out, 40 some thousand views, first drive after going from two to 500 horsepower, almost 50,000 views. Like pretty much when this truck is on the page, of a video, it's gonna get over 20,000 plus very easily. I wanna go into more detail as to what actually is all done in one video, because we've kind of piece by piece over the course of the last month, month and a half. After we do a mod, you know, we just did this, we just did this, we just did this, but I wanna do it all in one video, tell you everything that's been done, and go, you know, the, tell you the brand of the parts, where we got them, all that stuff, and so you guys can know. And so we can go through a lot of the truck, not just the horsepower, but we're going to focus on mainly the horsepower parts. But of course, I've also been getting messages from guys saying, you know, I just bought a pusher compound turbo system after seeing your content. Really, you know, I think it's a great system, so I went and got it too. I just bought a set of Anthem wheels because, you know, they look so good in that truck and I'd never heard of Anthem before. And that's what this is all about. It's about me bringing to light some different companies that a lot of you guys may not have heard yet, but they're companies that we believe in and we want you guys to be able to use as well. And not just for the value and the pricing stuff, but the quality of the products as well. So let's start off with just some cosmetic stuff. The bed, the flat bed, it's of course a CM truck bed, full and camps, Frenchtown trailer sales and supply co right there there's the phone number there's the town definitely go and check them out if you guys are looking for a flatbed installation they do a heck of a job and it turns out really well of course we've got these sponsorship decals on the back people that helped make this build possible pusher anthem off-road and diesel auto power anthem gunners 20 by 12 links are in the description for all this stuff as well except for the truck bed but pretty much everything else so the wheels the horsepower parts all that stuff Everything's in the description for you guys to just scroll down and click on it. A MagTech, I think that's how you say it, MagTech. High tech, I don't know. Rear differential cover, Philstein 5100s. The light bar, a lot of people have been asking, you know, what are you gonna do with the light bar? Are you gonna keep it on, are you gonna take it off? The light bar, I just, actually the guy who just stopped me, he asked about it too. He's like, so what are you gonna do with the light bar, Nasty Red? Well, um, for Nasty Red, we're probably just gonna leave it on until we get paint and body work done. And then of course the light bar is gonna have to come off for them to be able to paint the area and we're just gonna keep it off at that point. So light bar will come off, it's just not a priority right now. One of the first things that you notice, of course, these companies, of course, they really work together pusher and diesel out of power. The guys that own both companies, they both know each other and work together on stuff here and there. We're gonna get right into the first thing, which is gonna be the most noticeable, the pusher low mount compound turbo system. The base price on this kit is $2,100, but think about the fuel savings alone that you're gonna get within your first year or two. 
is probably gonna be worth the purchase, not to mention keeping your EGTs down, keeping that boost pressure up, and being able to handle trailers much nicer. And if you're not needing to haul trailers, but you just want a good system that's going to help with spool, help with drivability, cruising, stuff like that, this is definitely gonna help out your fuel mileage as well. So definitely something to consider and it'll keep your EGTs down. Pusher three and a half inch mega twin intake. Supplies much more consistent airflow to the front and rear cylinders to keep your engine cool. Remember that the more airflow, the better. So when it comes to airflow, don't be like, I don't know if I need a twin. Maybe I'll just do a single. Singles are good too. Pusher makes a big uh, mega intake that's just a single three and a half inch. However, the mega twin helps keep air pushed towards the rear cylinders more than just right here. It kind of, the direction of it, kind of helps keep the airflow pushed that direction at that angle. So um, it's really gonna help with keeping those rear cylinders cool. Like we said, the more, the better. Keeps your EGTs down, it just helps the thing run cooler overall with the compound system, the mega twin. Very deadly combination to really, uh, really help out your truck in the long run. Now we're gonna get to some diesel auto power parts. Diesel Auto Power is also the one working on the list for the dually right now, and they're going to help me out with um, selecting the proper parts for that truck as well to make sure that it's going to be running its best. DAP 120 horsepower SAC injectors for the increased fuel that we need to, of course, be pushing that goal of just shy of 600. DAP 4K Governor Spring Kit. Install those Governor Springs is right down there below the AFC housing down in that spot. DAP push rods, of course. Here are some uh, factory push rods. Now, the length and diameter and all that stuff is actually the same, but it's an upgraded push rod to be able to handle, you know, that increased power. If you guys are looking for heavy duty push rods, definitely, definitely check them out. You saw the power links are always in the description for those parts. ARP head studs. If you're going to be pushing over 400 horse, good rule of thumb or anything close to 400 horse, you probably want to be running head studs. Those right there. Let's see, right there. That's a head stud. Those are all head studs along the side here in between the injectors. Those are all head studs. There are 26 of them on a 12 valve. On this 12 valve, there's gonna be 26 head bolts and you're gonna replace those with head studs. You really wanna have those so you don't go blowing head gasket. Of course, with those head studs, you're gonna to wanna to have your diesel auto power machined rocker arm pedestals for your ARP head studs to clear, of course, underneath these valve covers. If you don't have those, you could run into some fitment issues and that's never fun. Links are always in the description. 60 pound valve springs. If you're gonna be running a lot more boost, a lot more power, you want to have a little bit heavier duty valve springs. You don't wanna have anything overkill if you're not gonna be needing them, but you don't wanna float a valve. So definitely wanna make sure you have the proper valve springs for your truck to help it run at its best as well. We have O24 DAP delivery valves. Of course, go down in there. Those are where your delivery valves are located. Your pump. And then of course, diesel auto power, number five fuel plate, which is located in your AFC housing, as well as a DEP air fuel control springs to help that run more efficient as well. And that pretty much states most of the stuff that's done under the hood. Of course, with this pusher compound system, you get all this stuff, okay? You're gonna get your massive five inch intake for your cold air intake, which if you're looking when the hood's closed, right here, you're getting direct airflow right into that intake. Okay, you're gonna have air, cold air just blows right through this little gap right here and just blows right into that thing and really, really, really helps. Of course, there's more that you can do to these trucks than what we just did here, but this is just a good start. This is what we wanted to run on this truck. It is a good rule of thumb to be running a lift pump as well. We haven't gotten one on this truck yet, but we do intend on putting one on here just to help to make sure we have that adequate fuel pressure at all times when towing, hauling, running it hot, you know what I mean? Like that type of deal. The low fuel pressure is never a good thing. You don't want to starve your injectors or starve your fuel supply to the engine itself. Again, huge shout out to these sponsors, Anthem Off-Road for sponsoring the wheels on this truck. Definitely go check them out. I've already got some messages from guys saying that they are grabbing themselves some Anthem wheels. Definitely go do that. Also, we're running an MBRP four inch exhaust to an eight inch tip. Now guys said, oh, the tip looks a little funny on the truck. Well, it, it looks funny because of course there's not a bed to hide the exhaust pipe down to just where the exhaust pipe would stick out so you wouldn't see all that. But since it's a flat bed, yes, it does look a little bit different. But overall, I mean, it's the same as everybody else who's running a four inch exhaust with an eight inch exhaust tip. The only difference is you can actually see our exhaust on this truck. Huge shout out to Diesel Auto Power for the horsepower parts under the hood. Huge shout out to Pusher, compound turbo system setup that's in that truck and the mega twin intake. And like I said, these are brands that we trust. These are brands that we want running on our vehicles. So if we wouldn't want them on ours, we wouldn't want them on yours. So that's the thing is when we go to brands seeking out sponsorships and parts, we only go to the best because we only want you guys to be able to use the best as well. But not just the best, but what provides a great value when it comes to pricing, 
quality and what you're getting for your money. So those are all things that you really have to think about. And this is just a video that I wanted to get done because there's so many people asking you know, questions here and they're like, what's done here, what's done here, what's done here. I just wanted to wrap it up in one video and get everything addressed for this truck. Now, if you guys have any further questions, definitely let me know down in the comments below and we will definitely try to help you out the best that we can. But we just wanted to make a video going through all the stuff that we've done to it. Of course, the tow mirror links and everything else, all that stuff's down in the description below. I just wanted to touch on the highlights, like the things that people see on the truck that stand out to them that they have the most questions about, which is the wheels, the flatbed, and the horsepower parts under the hood. Hopefully you enjoy the ride along in the beginning, and maybe you're newer and you're just stopping in. We're going to be giving a 12 valve Cummins away. We have a five speed dually. We also have an automatic 97 12 valve. Both have 205,000 miles on them. We're going to be giving one away. Definitely stay tuned to be informed on that when that takes place, but that should be happening June 1st, and the entries are going to start to be taken in so you guys can win a truck. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, smash that thumbs up leave your comments down below subscribe if you are new join the team join the family and we will catch you guys in the next video peace